The Home Depot has news that will come as great comfort to your bathroom or bedroom. Right now, you'll find beautiful savings on soft, comfortable bath towels, fresh bed linens, pillows, and cozy comforters. See it all online. Order in minutes. You can even get free delivery right to your door, which is also a pretty nice feeling. Save on select bedding and bath. Get easy online returns. Everything for your home. Everything from homedepot.com. How doers get more done. U.S. only. Valid through July 22nd. Limitations apply. The following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. And I was like, yes, hi. <laughs> I was so excited. Oh, baby, hi. Let me get hi again. <laughs> okay, hi. A guy gets to a point and he asks you to marry him, he really wants to marry you. Mm-hmm. He really, like, like he really feels like, you know what, she, she's the one. She's the one. You already getting the goods. You got the, you got to pay for it. Bring me the ring and get on one knee. Okay. Or two. You need time to observe someone and really get a sense of how well do they treat you, how well do they handle adversity. You're not you're not the one because you don't have you don't have the grit, the perseverance, the you ain't really want me because you really you you ready to give up. Mm-hmm. So that's no. Nah, you shouldn't have asked. But since I said no, now it's your job to stay in the game and try to fight for it. Boy on uh, five heartbeats, so you make the announcement we're going solo at the award ceremony. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Happy One Eye Shut Day. Welcome to the podcast that talks about many topics from the perspective of three married couples. You can listen to us on defylifepods.com, Spotify, iTunes, and all of the other popular podcast platforms. Happy to be here. You know, this is a podcast that gives you another reason to celebrate Wednesday. It's not just hump day. It's also one eye shut day. And I'm at the point that I look forward to every Wednesday evening. I can't remember the last time that it was like Wednesday evenings that I looked forward to. So we have a great time every Wednesday. I get the opportunity to bond with the crew before the show, during the show, after the show. Sometimes the after the show conversation is so long until somebody is just like, yo, y'all, we got to go. We got to go. So for that, I'm grateful. So in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and get it started. My word of the day is grateful. I'm grateful for everything that I just said, but I'm also grateful that Uh, We have a strong um, following to this point. I want to say that we have reached that mark where we're number one. We're number 10. What? I'm not sure where we are numerically, ranking-wise. Well, we're way up there, but we got 10,000 followers. Downloads. Downloads. You know, clearly I'm not up on all the lingo, right? That could be the same thing, though, right? (laughs) Could be. Okay, no. Right? I'm just saying. It could be the same thing, but thanks for having my back, babe, making sure, you know, I'm saying the right words. But we've got 10,000 downloads, has uh, surpassed our expectations, and we just kind of, yo, loving it, loving it. So I'm grateful for that. Earlier today, you know, Al gave me some news that had a um, pretty – Significant, I think, financial hit for us. Um, But I'm grateful that, you know, it did not um, send us into a tailspin emotionally. You know, I'm grateful that we have the resources to cover. You know, there there was a time where, like, you know, we would have been devastated on several levels. So I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that, you know, we have a plan. And so, you know, it's all good. So glad to be here. <clears throat> We're getting ready to have a great show. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all do your introductions. Give us your word of the day. <clears throat> just go ahead and I'm going to let y'all just jump in. When you feel it, jump in. I'm going to start you off, though. Go ahead, Al, since you're looking at me. <laughs> oh my After God. Al. Just go ahead and jump in. 
Um, so I think my word for the day is resigned. And in this idea that things are going to be, they're going to play out and they just going to play out. Like, you know, people say it is what it is. And so I'm just resigned that, um, you know, I, I have these rules in my, my phone that I listen to and, and, and read every now and then. And rule 31 is you can't save every puppy in the pound. And I got some news about somebody that, you know, uh, that's not positive. And I'm really hopeful that things turn out great for him and better. But I'm resigned that I don't know if it's going to turn out that way. So that's where I'm at. Just resigned that things are just going to be the way they are. And you just can't save every puppy in the pound. Yeah. Um Kind of right along with you, Al. So I'm, I'll give my um, word of the day is, is kind of a hyphenated word. It's self-checked. Um, and if I'm, if I'm reading your thoughts correctly, Al, um, the person I'm referring to is probably the same person you're referring to. Um, but I'm in the car with, with my youngest son on the way back from his football workouts. And he's just talking and talking. You know, sometimes you just like, let me see if he's around. Okay, he's not around. You know, you sometimes be like, I wish this kid would shut the fuck up. Um, and so, but he's just talking about everything. And I'm like, yo, he won't shut up. And um, I remember having a moment like that with the person you're referring to in, in, in your statement, Al, um, when he was a kid and he was young. And I just remember thinking, like, yo, you, you talk a lot. Um, it just kind of made me self, ch- check myself in the moment, like, um, you know, with my son, like at, at some point, whether whatever happens in his future, at some point, he's he's not going to be this interested in talking to me. So just um, check yourself and enjoy the moment because um, all kids grow up and at some point they uh, they don't want to talk to you like they used to. So I kind of had to check myself and enjoy the fact that he wanted to talk my ear off. So. I will say I'm self-checked right now. Mm. Mm. Love it. Well, I'll say, I'll go ahead and perform it. Be a little too quiet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, after talking to Gina before the show, she kind of made me realize that I have a little, I feel a little calmness in the room. Um, I do have uh one of my little girl, one out of the three is gone away to um, spend time with Nana. So you feel a little different and I feel a little clear minded, clear handed, but in the house, it feel a little, a little calm in the house. So that's my word of the day. Nice. Okay. Breaks are good for everybody. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll dive in. My word is uh, trepidation. Uh-oh. Because stop. he come with an SAT word. No, stop. Spell it. Spell it. Yo, stop. I can't spell. Are you serious? I, I, keep, I keep my Google handy and ready. But um <laughs> I keep it handy and ready. But uh because I well I I I have to speak with uh with two big people tomorrow about some you know, about a position or two. So, you know, I don't have any fear about going in there and, 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 and talking to them and, and give them whatever I have to give them to, to get the job done. So claim it. It's yours. No doubt. Right. That's right. That's right. You got that. For our life, son. Right. You already know. Yeah, I'm right. Say Dean. Um, let's Bring see. Us. So I'm here. <laughs> oh, wow. Today, today. Um, today's been a pretty long day. Um, I'm going to (laughs) say, I don't know. I'm just going to say, I guess my word for today is going to be love. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling love in all sorts of ways. Um, feeling all types of goodness 
in and around me. And I am incredibly grateful for all the love that I'm continuing to get, not even realizing, you know, like when it's present or that it's even there sometimes. And then it shows up and it's like, oh, right. You know, so it just makes you feel a little warm and cozy inside when, when you know you're loved. So um, I'm appreciative for all those around me and with me that got my back, my front, my side. And um, yeah, just happy to be here. Happy to be here. So we have a very um, interesting topic today. And as usual, you know, our, our goal is always to end the conversation um, still loving and liking each other and, and wanting to sleep in the same bed. Okay, so, you know, let's let's just keep our eye on the prize, you know, as we have these conversations. Um, and so tonight we are going to talk about um, swinging and threesomes. Wow. Yeah, you know, just you know, how how freaky how freaky are you? You know, how much how much you willing to do what, Ouch, what you wow, want to wow. do? Ow. No <laughs> this is a safe space, no judgment, no judgment. No judgment, no right. judgment whatsoever. Right. So all right, so based on what you know, what you think um, personal experience, um, wild guesses, whatever. Why do you all think that people swing? Hmm. Um, I mean, I'll just say it. Um, like, but, but first of all, again, no judgment, not saying right or wrong, but I think obviously you're missing something. Um, you know, if, if like, just like if you can't good, Get good conversation, or um, you know, cooking, whatever it is. If you get it from somewhere else, if you choose to do that, you, I think you're missing something. So, um, no judgment if that's your choice, especially if it's okay with your partner and y'all are open to doing it, and you decide and agree to bring someone else in, or you agree to seek out other partners. Um, I still think there's something missing there um, that you that you're not getting completely from your partner. Hmm. Ladine, do you agree with your husband? I don't agree with him. <laughs> so, okay. and I say that just because there are, I mean, people just have different viewpoints. They have different, you know, emotions and feelings towards different things. Some people don't. Uh, don't prefer to be with one person. There are a lot of open relationships where the man and the woman both either step out or bring people in. So I don't think that it's necessarily that you're missing something. I think some people just, um, they're not missing anything. They just want to add something extra, you know? <laughs> might but that means you're missing something then, right? But that doesn't mean that you're missing something because you want extra. It could just be that you want more. Your spouse can necessarily give you like everything, but you may still want more. So that doesn't mean that you're missing anything. It just means that you still like these things. So if you, so, okay, for those, rela I see it like this because for those relationships with you might have relationships where people decide in the middle of the relationship that this is something that they want to um, jump into, right? But then you have other people where they went into this relationship knowing, look, we're going to bring other motherfuckers up, up, up in here and that's it. So it just depends. That's what I'm saying. So if you go into that relationship knowing that you were always going to be bringing other people in, then you weren't missing anything. Yes. And I don't necessarily think that you're missing something because you want to bring other people in. It's not something I prefer. It's not something I choose. But I don't think that others are missing something because they want to bring somebody else. In. Well, that's why. I'm so saying, that's I interesting think... because as uh, Jr. was talking, I was thinking, you know. Is wanting more the same as missing something? And, you know, it just organically came up in the conversation. So clearly, JR thinks that it's the same thing. 
and Ladeen thinks that it's different. Just real quick, a quick poll. Jakita, what do you think? Is it the same or is it different? Um, It's definitely different for me. Okay. Thomas? Yeah, I think it's different as well. Al? I think missing something, wanting more. Um, or just, just wanting. wanting. If you want something, does that mean that you're missing something? Like, are those two the same thing in this that, context? No, I'm going to say no, they're not the same thing in this context. But I, I do think it's not a yes or no answer. But yes, I'll just, but I'll comply with your rules and say no. I didn't have a rule. I just asked the question. Well, you said it's a yes or no. It's a poll. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to, you know, keep the flow going, but I just think that, you know, <laughs> by missing, like every t- when you're missing something, you want more, but every time you want more, it's not because you're missing something, you know. So it's like it's not just a yes or no, but I, yeah, it kind of is though, like, uh, <laughs> like because. If I order something with everything on it and something's missing, I'm going to say, no, something's missing. You didn't give me everything. Right? Like, by definition, if you want more, you're not getting everything you want. There's no way around that. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that. Like, like, it's not the same it's, to me. But, but it's, it's cool. cool. I, I just kind of want to. I was just saying. curious as to where. As to where people, you know, stood. So, okay, so we've heard from um, Ladine and Jr. Jakita and Thomas. Like, why do you think or feel or believe or know or whatever the reason that people are interested in swinging? Um, I feel like, um, I mean, you have people that are really like, um, what's the word, spontaneous. And so they're really like open, like individuals. Um, And they just feel like not that they're missing anything, but they just 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 want something. I don't know, to keep something going in the marriage, I guess. Um, I'm not for, you know, the open marriage type thing, but I, I do know people that have open marriages and then even um, being around where I used to work before, I was around like a, a lot of younger girls. And so a lot of them had open relationships, meaning that they bring um, another female into their um, relationship. And so and I used to ask the question like, well, why are y'all doing that? Because I feel like it's just going to bring trouble. And so they felt like it was um, just something that they just wanted to do to be to bring more pleasure in the bedroom. So they didn't look at it as he was missing anything. It's just that they wanted to bring more, just more pleasure, more sex, more whatever it may be. Um, just to fulfill that kind of void, I guess. Okay. And I guess I think, I think some people may do it because they're missing something. Some some people may do it because it's a fantasy of theirs. And some people do it because they just want something different. You know, it, it, I mean, they could be totally fulfilled. However, they just want something different. You know, and, and I don't have a lot to say about it, but that's, that's where I stand on it. Yeah, it's just like bringing toys in the bedroom. Instead of a toy, you got a real person. <laughs> That's like Pinocchio, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you say, instead of the toy, it is not like bringing toys into the bedroom. There is a I difference. Mean, if you bring okay. it like a uh, dildo, I don't that know. is a whole. Uh, that is a whole human being. <laughs> that is not a toy. I do it just it. depends how you look at it, though. That's what I, right. I mean, yeah. Right. If you bring in a dildo and he performing a dildo or something on you, I mean. I, I feel like I, 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 think, your, I think your point, Jakita, is that being comfortable in my mind, you know, is all no, extra man. instruments in the room. <laughs> <laughs> instruments. <laughs> instruments. There but, we go. 
but the, the problem is not everybody is going to look at it as just an instrument. And I think to, to lay Dean's point, it is a human being with humans come emotions. And that's the scary part of it. Right. That's it. Yes, that's the scary part of it. But it doesn't have to come with emotions. No, it doesn't have to. doesn't have to. Well, um, I don't know when y'all are ready for me to. I mean, cause I, cause I got something for this. I, I, I got something good for this. Oh no, I, I want. But go ahead. I need to answer the. I wanted to answer too. So answer your question. Answer. <laughs> so to me, in terms of you know what is this all about? I think it's. I think poo is kind of going down the right street in the sense of there's a whole lot of different reasons why people do this, and I, I think this. For many folk, and I think the majority of society, when we think marriage, we think um, monogamy. And I think for everyone, love and marriage doesn't fit the definition or it's not monogamy is not part of it. And I think for those people, they just do it for fulfillment of them being happy. I think there are people who to Jay, you know, his statement are not happy at home and this is a not happy in the bedroom and that's why they do it that's that's not um, what i said that's not what i meant but go ahead okay i thought when you said missing something that's what Th- that's what was. I, they weren't that's satisfied. What I was trying to explain but go ahead okay so that's how i took it but either way that's my that's my thought i think people there are a segment of people who swing who bring somebody into the room because they are not satisfied and um you know to me it is one of them things that is just real risky. So that's Oh yeah, point. really risky. Extremely. I mean, I think it can also depend because then you might have marriages where you might have a person that might be sick, you know, and they want mm-hmm. to bring another person to the bedroom so that their spouse mm-hmm. can be free, male or female. You know what I mean? So I think it really depends. I know that it can be risky. Of course it can be risky. <clears throat> but um, there are so many different situations and circumstances where something like this can come into play and not just um, I'm not satisfied or I want more. So that's why I meant that in regards to what JR was saying. But <clears throat> yeah, but I think regardless of what the situation is, and yes, there are lots of scenarios that people may choose to go this route, but regardless of the scenario is risky. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Even in the case of the one uh, Lady Dean that you just mentioned, like, yes, it's just, it's just risky. <clears throat> well, may I add to this a little bit? So, mm-hmm. and I'm, I wanted to add to this because we because I know in regards to what we were talking about last week, also, and this um, in regards to this topic period, we have. Um, and I'm sorry, in regards to talking about sex and how I kept saying how, you know, sex is so important and sex is so important, right? And and just and instead of just saying sex is important, I want to elaborate of how, how I see it and what I feel from things that I've read and from my beliefs within energy and um, spirituality and all of this good stuff. So sex is truly, it's a ritual of exchanging energy. Okay, it's a ritual of exchanging thoughts, emotions, um, spirits, all of this stuff, right? So during sex, you're like a spiritual sponge for the consciousness of the other person. You know what I'm saying? So it, so sex can be healing. It can be refreshing. It can be recharging. Like you are actually exchanging and, and supporting the other partner and like recharging their DNA. Like sex is fucking powerful. And that's why for our last two um, episodes, really, when, when we when, when <coughs> about sex and you know and I'm like no it's important I, I I get lost in my words when I start talking sometimes but that's really what I mean by it's so important you know it's like so when you exchange that energy with someone and I know that most we're talking about a marriage you know we're on a marriage podcast and we're married couples but you know a lot we all they, they, there was somebody before marriage for all of us and so when you are single and when you are and you have more than one partner and, you know, you really want to think about 
is does this person love me like do they love themselves like the kind of energy that people come with like you can really people can have demons inside of them that you don't that you're not even aware of and that gets passed towards you and something as beautiful as sex so to me sex is a big deal and it's become very it's become so much more um of not being a big deal um and I want to, I don't know the word I'm looking for right now, but it's just become more casual. Um, it's become more, yeah, let's fuck and that's it. And it's not really, um, it's not honored in the way it should be honored. And maybe for me, just being passionate, just being Scorpio, just loving fucking love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe that's why I see it like that. But um, to me, sex is so much more powerful and less cat and yeah it's definitely not casual yes it can be um it absolutely can be but the more I grow as a woman the more I grow in my relationship with my husband the more I respect it for the power that it has so yeah so can I ask a question so you said that it has become casual sex right Mm mm-hmm don't you think, though, for the majority of human existence, it's being casual yep. that the majority of human existence, people have looked at sex as just sex? No. OK. I think that like and like just for pure release, joy, procreation, like for the majority of us, we've been on this earth. I think that's what it was looked at. And but I really think probably in the last hundred years, maybe even if you want to say 200 years, it might have shifted. But I really think for the majority of the time that humans had been on the earth, having sex was not what you are describing it as. (laughs) So I think if anything, it's it's become what you're describing. But in reality, what it's really been for 99 percent of when humans have walked this planet, it's been casual. Mm. OK, well, I mean, so I that, that, is, that is interesting. But you know what? That's really a whole nother show. It like, is. No, seriously. Like, real yeah, I'm we'll talk. Ready to yeah. respond to you. But. Now we're not going to do that because that's a whole other show. We'll put that on the list. <laughs> write that down. Write that we'll down. Put that on the list of shows right. <laughs> <laughs> coming to you soon. Yeah. However, so given all of what you said, Lady Dean, yes. are you? Um, so tell us how you feel about uh, having threesomes and swinging within a marriage. Well, I mean, I've, it's not, it's, it's, again, it's not something we do. <laughs> I'm not asking, yeah. Right. As as far as so everyone, I mean, because I know people don't feel what I feel, you know what I mean? And I know that a lot of people don't. uh, I know so many, so many individuals that are just not connected. So being that other people aren't connected. Right. No, I'm asking you, given what you feel and everything you just said and how you feel about sex. and I'm answering I'm answering right. So I I know that people aren't connected in the ways that I'm connected. So what I'm saying is with that being said, um, because it's not if I don't I don't see an issue with it. And to, to to me, if that's what others want to do and that's what others choose, and that, that if that fucking works for them, then hell yeah, let it work for them. Um I don't think that there's anything wrong with it until um you know, one person might get uncomfortable. Do I think, right, because you might have a couple where you're like, yeah, they op- they've they opened up their marriage to people, but then it gets uncomfortable. Then it might be uncomfortable, say it's a man and a woman, and say the man <laughs> says he's still wanting this man when he's not around. Then that becomes an issue. But do I think it as, I think people are free to do what they choose, period. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, kind of the reason, like, what I meant by missing something is, like, not necessarily, of course, those people are included, right? The people that are, like, not getting everything from their spouse, like, the first people we think of when we hear that. 
what I'm saying is as well as there are sometimes that's internal. Uh, sometimes people are missing the energy of other people. Sometimes you're missing the energy mm. of multiple people. Um, sometimes you're missing the scent of another woman or another man. Like it can be something internal that you're missing. Um, but that's what I mean by when I say, regardless, I think missing something covers all those. Um, I, I, I definitely don't agree that people are free to do what they want to do. Um, I don't think it's that simple. Um, because I think when you enter an agreement and a contract with another person, you're not free to do what you want to do, um, without consult from that person. Um, so I do think there's a level of agreement that has to be established. Um, not just, I can do what I want to do. Um, I don't think that's fair in, 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 in any kind of contract. Um, but you know, it's, I think in yeah, agreement, I think, people can right, agree with, to what they, whatever they want to do. And then uh, based off of that, yes, you do what you want. Go ahead. Huh? I was going to say without an agreement is cheating. Right. I think when, you know, what we're talking is that I want to say next level shit, but it's like it, to me, it is because it is honest and comes from a place of mutual experience as opposed to me just doing this on the side and you don't know nothing about it, but swinging and bringing somebody in, we are both aware of it. And then I would assume would be agreeing. I'm assuming agreement in this. Mm-hmm. You, you know. Yeah. Um, well, you could, you could swing solo. True. Like I could go out by myself and swing. Or oh, engage yeah. in, true. you know what I'm saying? So you don't, it doesn't have to happen as a couple. Right, Just, right, right. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? You engage in two other people? Like I could participate in a threesome. Right. That's not okay. I yeah, mean... I didn't think that's what we were talking about. Like... <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, no, I get it. Though. No, I get it. Right. But I'm yeah, saying you go to a swingers couples, club, right? And you Part can of... go in by oh, yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or you okay. can go in as a couple. True that. True that. Right. That's cheating. Right. Um, because I feel that's like... cheating. I agree. No, <laughs> I feel like that's why you shouldn't. I, I I feel like no one should get involved in swinging and all that stuff unless it's mutual on both ends. Because I feel like now a lot of people are just bringing in the woman for the threesome. But what about bringing in a man for the for the threesome? You don't see that a lot. So women, so women tend to just cater to the man more and not. You know, Katie to herself. Sorry. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, um, I love so I feel people. like, but it's it's like a Jada and Will thing because I feel like Will Jada is getting what she is getting. You know what I'm saying? Because all of them thought everybody thinking they're swinging and all this stuff. Maybe they could be. We really don't know what the secret is, but um, I do know that they go out and have sex with you know whoever they feel like having sex with because then both of them are kind of fulfilling what they want and not just getting half ass and just getting a woman in the bed and not having both in the bed so yes yes i don't think it's always the case um you know it did have i was when i was in college i was working at ups i was propositioned by a couple um to come into there to join them um to you know to, for me to them to bring a man into their into their bedroom um, i declined. how was it <laughs> um What'd i declined because it was i said how was it <laughs> <laughs> um i declined it was, it was old white folks so i wasn't interested um <laughs> so like sorry karen bill i'm gonna have to decline um right but um and and not to say at that point in my life I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't like attracted to this dude's wife. You get what I'm saying? Um, it right. just happened to be no attraction there. Um, but so wait, wait. You're saying you would have done it I if don't know. you were That's attracted what, to his wife? I don't know if I would have. I would like to say no, <laughs> but I wasn't like. I would like to say like me, like me at my 42 year old self would like to sit here and say no. I would never do that. But I don't know what I would have done at 20. Um, I don't know, mm-hmm. so I can't say. Um, Mm -hmm. but I know that the reason I didn't, and it didn't go any further because there was no attraction. I don't know what would have happened if there was some kind of attraction there. Um, I don't know if it, you know, I would have had to get past that step. 
but um i don't know that's but to me like I, and i and i guess like i've and that's why i say i would like to think that because i've always i take like marriage and this is just how i think um to that that seriously where like i don't if I'm going to marry you, God damn it, you, you better know I ain't trying to be out in these streets no more. Um, or even try to like not get something from somewhere else. Um, like that's just where, that's just how I feel. Um, as far as like where I, like where I am when I get married. So that's why I feel that like, you know, I, that would never be on the table for me. Um, and then also I think something is missing when you go like, regardless of what you say, um, and how you put it, something's missing, whether externally or internally, something's missing there. And I, I guess where I feel about it, it's, I do think, you know, marriage is definitely sacred. However, I mean, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If, if it's okay with her, if it's okay with him and, and there's where that where their relationship lies. If 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 they're in tune with that, then they're in tune with that. I mean, I don't. I, I'm not gonna front, you know, frown upon them or anything. If they 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 want to rock like that, so if that's what they want, I feel like that's what they want. Yeah. And I and however, I'm, I'm, I'm not couples who've done it and who swing, right. and I'm and who who have done it before, and never have I heard like it, it turn out a good experience. Turn out like, good, right, right, right. 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 Um, so even in the, of course, nobody knows the details. Nobody knows the truth. But Will, Jada, and um, August. But even in that situation, Will was quick to step up and say, "No, that didn't happen." Right. Um, I didn't say that. Right. <laughs> um, so he felt the need to defend his wife stepping out on him. Um, so, you know, I've, I've never seen like I've seen, you know, dudes that I, I know. I know a couple couples that were, you know, brought women into their bedroom. Um, but to Keita's point, the minute the wife decided that she wanted to bring another dude in, she went left. Um, so I've never seen it come out like all smiles on the end. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm pretty um, conflicted. I think. Um, because I feel like for some couples um, who believe in what uh, polygamy or, you know, polyanarism or whatever it's called, um, I think it could work. I think in certain cultures, society, certain people, even here in the United States, it just really could depend on what you believe in. I think it's possible Um, For it to be a wonderful situation, I I do think that most people, um, particularly in the West, are not, um, I don't know, what's the word, I don't know, evolved enough, maybe sophisticated enough, maybe, or silly enough, I don't know, whatever it is, to really um, be able to make it work. Like, I feel like it sounds really good to a lot of people, um, but in reality, like it's just too much stuff gets in the way that makes it a, a viable situation for everybody to remain happy in um, the majority of the time. Um, on the flip side, I think that um, it's just so dangerous until for most people, I don't even think it should matter what you want to do. Like, it's just, what do you need to do to keep your marriage together? And for most people, it's not involving other people mm-hmm. in the bedroom. The shit just does not seem to work the majority of the time. And I think so much of it is because of how we've been raised. We've been, to your point about, you know, Western culture, I think we've been taught that with love, you almost is like property almost like this right. to to see someone else touch somebody that you love for most of us wouldn't be a good thing it would be something that we would be like what the fuck like 
Come but, on, yo. Even if that person is getting pleasured and happy, we would sit back and and I think with that raising, with that upbringing, it's really hard for two people because one of one of them is going to re- result resort back to the way they was raised and be like, you know what, fuck that, man. Like, yo, take your hands off my husband. I, I, it's just, mm. yeah. I don't think we're ready as a society. Right. And, and you, and like most of us, Jenna mentioned, like, uh, not evolved enough. And it made me think maybe we're not devolved enough because, m- like, monogamy and, and, and marriage is, is a, and, and the way we see it is, is fairly new. Mm-hmm. Um, so, as Al mentioned earlier, like, from our existence, most of our existence has been. You know, casual sex and multiple partners and, you know, polygamy and like all that. So maybe we've, we've like we're too evolved to go back to how humans naturally interact with each other sexually. I don't know. Just a thought. Yeah, well, I hope that that is not the case. Scary. That we Right, just just a little bit. All right, we've got some bills to pay. Um, And speaking of bills to pay, we do have um, a patron of the week. So thank you, Stacey Lipscomb, for helping us to pay our bills. We really appreciate your support. We'll be back in 45 seconds to continue the conversation. Stay tuned. We're told that greatness is exceptional, when it should be expected. You choose every day to live your life intentionally, without apology for how bright your light may shine. So go be great. Go be brilliant. Go be you. Go defy life. The Defy Life movement is one that speaks to each of us in its own way. Defy Life gear speaks to us all by reminding us that one size does not fit all. Visit thefirelifegear.com to get fitted for greatness. So thanks for staying tuned. We have been um, engaged in um, a conversation about swinging and threesomes and marriage and how we feel about um, that whole type of scenario. So, so far, I think I've heard that I've heard every couple to say that they are not fans of it for themselves personally. Um, I think we've had at least, well, I know we've had at least one person to say it's up to the individuals. I guess I can, I guess I kind of said that too. But um, anyway, we, we have determined that none of us um, are fans of it for ourselves personally. Um, So let me ask you, What if your what if your spouse came to you and propositioned you with the whole idea of swinging? What do you think you would feel? Like you've already said that your answer would be no. Like we already know that you're gonna say no. At least according to what you said like before the break. Mm-hmm. But you know, there might be a like a pre break response and then a post break response. I don't know. So, uh, if your response has changed, go ahead and let us know. But if not, just like, what would you feel? You know, like, what would be your first thoughts if I gotta, she, if I gotta, she or he came to you and was like, "Yo, babe, let's go, <laughs> let's go to Trapeze, which is a comic uh, swinging spot down here in Atlanta." Oh, really? Oh, How do you know that? Stop ah. acting. <laughs> oh, really? Stop, stop Another, acting at all. Oh, a little post-show uh-huh. conversation going uh-huh. on. That's how you're going to do? Okay. What were you going to say, Lady Dean? I think I heard you. Un- so what I was going to say. 
is that mm-hmm. like, all right, so if my husband came to me, so I guess this isn't really like, so if he, look, if somebody want to pay my husband a million dollars, we telling you right now, and this is an indecent proposal, we might have to talk about that, you know? Because... Yo, how about a happy yeah. meal? Yo, Ladine, and I'm putting it out there. And, look, and, I'm putting uh, and it has, out there, and has <laughs> that movie, right? Yo, boo. <laughs> We ain't got to talk about shit. You better come right. home with that billion dollars, okay? Yeah, you better come home with that we money. We got that, that's one decision. I can get you a buy <laughs> that, clear all them spiritual energies off for of you. We can make it work, all right? Do Just don't you, even you, ask you, me. Do, do what you need to do. They come back with that billion dollars or we're going to have a problem. I'm just <laughs> Right. Then we're going to have a problem. Then we're going to have a problem. But anyway. Oh. I'm mm. sorry. So, so me getting with another woman, if there's a financial gain, it's okay. I don't know. Not just financial gain, because I heard you say your little happy meal. Oh, no, no, no. I was just joking. But uh-huh. a significant financial gain, a million dollars. dollars. Hell yeah. You have my permission. Mm-hmm. Come home with a million dollars. So, Lay, is that the cutoff, though? If, it, if it's a million dollars, anything under that is not okay? No, no, no. We're What's not saying that. I just want to know. Anything What's... other than that, you got to call me. We got to talk figures? about that. Oh, but if but it's a million, right. I ain't got to call you. You ain't even got to call. Hey, guess what? Yo, not only, don't, not only don't you have to call, but when the million dollars gets deposited in the bank, I ain't even going to ask you a motherfucking question. <laughs> so, so if I get a so if I get, so if I get, I said if I get a million. Duke, Oh, he's asking hundred K. Can I can hundred K? I'm good. A hundred K? A hundred K? Did you hear what Lady Dean said? But you okay. know what? We are getting off of True. the top. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm for research purposes. So what if I get duped and a million dollars don't clear? No, 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 no. <laughs> she promised. She said <laughs> She said I didn't even have to call. So if I get no, duped in a million dollars. First. It's gotta get here first. We not stupid. This uh, is 2020. You got right. to be smarter than that, boo boo. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, I need that putting... wire transfer. Anywho. So oh. back to <laughs> back so to the question. Get to me, you get to pimp me out and make hand. the rules now. Okay. At hand. <laughs> Shit, you can pimp me. Up. Well, not you. <laughs> Damn. My husband, my husband I, can pimp me Al, out for a million with you. dollars. <laughs> Al, Al, I even give you 600k. I, I'll take 400k. If, uh... oh, shit, you got nah, see now you you bugging her. Wait, wait, really quick, cause Kita did it there to Kita. You you gonna let give me that money for Pooh? You gonna take that million dollars? Well, when I was um in college and a couple of us was in college, we were asked to um do porn. And how, um how but you mean? didn't you didn't have to show your face. <laughs> oh no! And it was just, <laughs> it uh, uh, was just two thousand dollars. <laughs> no, they no, that. oh, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> it was just about two thousand dollars to do a, a flick, but you didn't show your face. I denied it. A lot of people were debating, so that's something. <laughs> hmm. Debating? What were they debating? They gave you tax return. Well, you got two thousand dollars for in twenty years. That okay. is a lot of money. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, two thousand dollars was a lot. And that, and, and, and they knew that y'all young folks was gonna think like that. That's why. They, yes. uh, they had a lot of people on campus that actually did it, but you couldn't see their faces anyway. But um, oh, definitely. If we got money on the table, definitely. Now, would you have your husband be there so he can look at you? Hell no, no. That. <laughs> No, that's not happening. It's not possible. <laughs> no, Bobby, I'm again. That's what we're talking about is the swing right? part. <laughs> so wait, 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 Lady. Why do you have such a strong reaction to her question? Okay, so it's not all right <laughs> because this, because give me, I, give me, hey, Lady, give me the short version. All right, I'm, I, I'm my husband's piece. That's why. I'm his piece. He doesn't want to see me with anybody else. He's not going to want to see me well, with anybody well, else. Well, first of all, how we get to Wait, that? Why are you the question for was him. I'm asking you about your perspective. 
No, I would not because I because I see that as disrespectful. What's disrespect? I don't get this. What what are we talking about here? We talking about somebody offered me if someone offered you a million dollars to sleep with me and I had the opportunity to <clears throat> give it to him in front of you, would I be doing that? No, right. I would that, not have to sleep in front that, of you. So wait, so right, so that's you would my turn point. away a billion dollars? Right, that's my oh, point. Oh, my po- so wait, so if it was a requirement, I'm sorry, Jay, go ahead. What's no, my my point is that the question was never posed to me. The question was posed to you. If you get a meal, if we get a meal for me to do something with somebody, I never answered the question. Like I would never be up for that meal. Like me and Al and Pooh already said, we uh, money money ain't swinging us like that. Money don't money don't. So a million, not whatever it is, this shit ain't okay with me. So that's never gonna be. A situation because I'd walk before I let you know any of that shit matter to me. So it it wouldn't matter like me being there watching you would never be a situation because I wouldn't be a part of it. That's what I'm saying. I was never posed. To, I, I never answered the question. So that wouldn't Did even Al be a thing. Yeah. The but this is a. I just know. I just know Al and Pooh like that. They quiet. Oh, you right. done put them on the boat. You, <laughs> you put me on the boat. That's just between L, you and L already, L already said you. money ain't, I mean, okay. I ain't swinging. Hmm? So now let me finish answering my hypothetical question, Gina. No, is the answer. <laughs> I am not doing that in front of him. Okay. Right, but that's wait, what I'm saying. Like, wait, so, but, but, but if I heard you correctly, JR, that's a, this is a different question. Jake, uh, key that just asked, what she's answering is hypothetically. Would she do it in front of you with somebody else for this million, even if the million dollars was uh, involved? And right. so I but, thought I heard you say, Ladine, that you would do it for the million dollars. Yes? yes absolutely. Okay. Right. But so now I hear you saying, well, wait, wait, wait. So it's not disrespectful for you to get the million dollars. <laughs> And it only for you to do it to get the but what it everybody's like, what I'm saying is what everybody's to, missing here is that it ain't like like that's not that's not anybody's decision. It ain't my decision if I want to have my wife watch me. That's her decision. Like I can't make her do anything regardless of how much no, money. No, well, it's not that's, that's about not you. No, yes, it is. Like what I'm saying, it's not about such, you. No, I'm not saying it is about me. What I'm saying is nobody on this conversation can, regardless of how much money is involved, it's not their decision of who's going to watch them. It's the person who's watching who's going to make that decision, right? It is, Only in we real life situations. Oh, that's what hypothetical. I deal with. I'm sorry. We said yeah. hypothetical. I'm sorry. I have trouble with hypotheticals. Go ahead. Clear. Okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> they never make sense to me. But he does. okay, go he ahead. does. They never make sense to him. But they don't make sense. To me. It's always some. <laughs> okay, you know. so Ladine, you can yes. disrespect him as long as he's not there for a million dollars. But if he's there, you can't disrespect him for a million dollars. That's all I want to know. That's right. <laughs> <Okay>. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I mean, right. I'm sorry. It just, it just depends. Look, and so, like, as far as like what, as as far as the hypotheticals, Jay, it's just like, so if someone, if they, excuse me, Damn. so as far as like a swinging conversation, the way Keita was, I think, trying to put it was okay. Well, let's add the swinging into this indecent proposal. So, what if they want you to watch, or they want me to watch? That's really all the question was. Mm-hmm. So, how does how does anybody else feel about that, Al Poo? What's happening? What's happening, Al Poo? <laughs> I'll, I'll let this I'll is, let Poo go this first. This is one million dollars now. Man, this you is mean, like. <laughs> This is what I'm saying. Like even in, they made a movie play. about this, and Indeed. even that shit didn't it, work. And even that shit didn't work out. <laughs> like they okay, actually made a movie. You... That shit didn't work out. So Thomas and I, we go in the Pandora's box. We about to do it in front of everybody. Yes, but yeah, that was one. That was one. <laughs> one movie. One situation. You know how many situations it probably does work out for. I and I'm know, not that's saying the only one I'm dollars. aware of, and it didn't. I'm just saying, you think people don't? You think people don't pay for people? Okay. You think people don't pay big bucks for? I don't speak in hypotheticals. I speak in the shit that I've seen and I know of. 
I know that shit didn't work out. And it was a movie. They could have chosen that shit to go any way they wanted to. Even the fucking movie know that shit ain't working out. Okay, Jay. We see. We know what your point is on this. I want to hear the guys. Let's They're not talking. Don't y'all want me to sit here in silence? And we're going to have a silent radio? They're not talking. They already said it. Go ahead, Al. Go ahead, Al. Stay passing the shit back and forth. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Like, so, this is a podcast. Pooh. We have to talk. So, if they're not good. talking, somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. What, what's what, good? What, what say you, Pooh? What am I? What, what am I? What am I? What, what's being asked for me? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. If somebody. So, if Pooh, some... we want to know a few things. In any of the above, okay. Okay. right? The original okay. question was how would you feel? If Chiquita stepped to you and was like, yo, I want to bring somebody else in, or I want to go to a swingers club, blah, blah, blah. I'm out. Then, oh. Don't say that because Jay said he out. I'm out because she, she said you want to go to a swingers bar, swingers club. I don't want to go. But it's $1 million on the wait, line. Wait, wait, but wait. She I'm didn't sorry. get to wait, that. Wait, wait. wait before, no, I didn't get to the million dollars yet. I didn't get to the million dollars Once she said we're going to the swingers club, I'm out. Wait, wait, hey, yo, okay, okay. okay. So okay. when you say I'm out, what does that mean? Mm-hmm. Like you're leaving her? No, or... I mean we're not going to the swingers club. Okay, but how would you feel about the fact that she asked you? How would I feel about? Yeah. I, I would. The I would kind of. Like... I would feel like she just slapped my face. You know, what do you want to go to a swingers club for? I mean, I, I of course I hear her out, but I would, um, I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like what, it. What if she wanted to go to the swingers club just to watch? Just to watch? Just to watch. Ah, uh, you can't go know? just to watch, but go ahead. Yes, I mean, you can. Yeah, yeah, ahead. yeah. I, I've heard of people going to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can watch. Yeah, we can watch. We, okay. Okay. Jakita, does that surprise you? Um... No, because I know he's being a little too... Thomas would be down for it. Down for you be going to sex with people? You, no. <laughs> if I ask you, then let's go to a... What is party. happening right now? <laughs> what? If I ask you... And I thought that the Fight Life show was the bad one. You will actually... You will say, well, I'll go ahead and see like no. what you're talking about. No, you no, at no. least go to it. No, you she just said not if you say, out, tell me no. yeah, I said no, nah, I'm out. But if she said you say, you know what, let's go, let's go check it out, so we can watch people. I'll go. You know what I'm saying? But by you saying let's go, then um, my antenna's up, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not. No, I, no, I don't want to go do that. But if you say, hey, you know what, let's go, whatever, whatever, let's go watch. No, you know I'm, I'm a, a I'm a, I'm a clean type person, and I, I, I know swinging is definitely not my, not my go. I smell things. <laughs> You I'm said clean. Thing. Yeah, I'm a real <laughs> clean person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so even, but even in regards with sex, like you have to wash, you got to wipe. It's like a whole little ritual thing with me. So, um, so I know swinging is not not something that I'm definitely won't be. Cause you think strangers is dirty. Yeah, I'll just say what I'm saying. Okay, I don't want to smell it. Other people's stuff, like mm. I yeah, just but don't. It, it ain't. It ain't. It don't have to be strangers. Like there are best friends. There are neighbors that swing. It doesn't have to be like a public situation. And so there's showers. They yeah. stink. She's saying I mean, they then stink. they might don't eat a lot of fruit. <laughs> so I know it's not a. <laughs> <laughs> not the diet. Saying, not like, the diet. I'm saying, like, you know them to know y'all hang out, so you know what their diet is like. You know they clean people. You know, like Look, these. She just ain't taking the chance. That's what she said. <laughs> she want to smell nobody else's stuff. Mm-hmm. I hear Ain't no spunky, I no skunky spunk around her. Uh-uh. No. Ow. I I hear you. I hear you. All right, Al. What about you? I don't think we heard from you. <sighs> Boy, so how would I feel if how would you feel if my spouse, aka you, stepped to me? I think how would I feel? I think I would feel. I, I think I wouldn't trust it. Like I think I would feel. Yeah, I, I wouldn't trust. That would I would have a lack of trust. I would I wouldn't trust that. I don't know if I could trust, like, man, just a setup. 
Um, I don't know if this hey, is mean like me setting you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, is she testing me here? Don't fall for it, son. Don't fall for it. Um, is it you trying to? Then it's like, then maybe a tr- a lack of trust of like. I don't, I don't know if I can trust who I am in this marriage. Like, hold on now. Like, what's what? Did, what did I do wrong? Like, why is it? Like, it, it wouldn't. Yeah, I think that's how I feel. I wouldn't. You know, and it's like when you. I would have a lot of doubt, and so when I have a lot of doubt, I tend to go the other direction. So, I would probably think mm, that's not a good idea. For you ain't feeling. It ain't the signs ain't there, son. And um, say no, and it, and you know, kind of like when they say think with the head above your shoulders and not the one between your legs. So it's kind of like, yeah, you might enjoy it, maybe die. Who knows? It, it's a whole lot of fun down that road, but is it going to turn out good? Probably not. So pass. So that's what I would feel. I wouldn't. I. I, I wouldn't be down for it. Have y'all talked about this before? Like before? Who before us? Before, this, before show. this show? Or before the before we knew we were going to talk about this topic? No, we not have. before the show. Oh, no, yes, no. we have talked about it in our relationship. Um, we've um, we've talked about it before when ooh. the old boy, the <laughs> football player. He said, "When I'm talking about not for us to do it, I'm just saying like other people swinging, like oh, bringing oh, other oh, people oh, in to their relationship." And we was like, "Oh no, we'll never do that. Like I don't see that going anywhere." See, his mind is so bad. When remember the about, football player, the girlfriend everything. was bringing the um another woman in the bedroom. Football. Then we was like, wow, I'm not going to tell you what football no, player. No, I, I didn't say what football player. I'm just yeah. like. Well, we'll talk about it afterwards because you can't. Yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, we did. We did. We did converse on this. You're right. Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm? That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Real uh, Jr. and Ladine, had y'all spoken about it before at any point in y'all's relationship? Uh, yeah, very briefly, um, because we both immediately said it was a no. Hmm. So Al, I, I was kind of, I don't know, I don't know about surprised or I don't know, but I was wondering if you, what your response was going to be, like if we had talked about it before, because you know, if you were talking if a little bit ago, I was wondering like if you remembered me approaching you with the the opportunity. I um, don't, like, I can't say I... Uh, explicitly remember the conversation or when or how long ago I know it has happened yeah so I um, <clears throat> I thought it would be interesting I don't know to go to this um, swingers club um, as spectators but you know Al wasn't with it and um, honestly, I am, he goes my word of the day, grateful, um, because he was wise enough to know at the moment that that was not something that we needed to participate in. Um, we weren't, we were not, um, I don't know if ready is the right word, but I don't think that it would have served us well at all at that time. So kudos to you, boo. Salute. My glass is empty, so but I'll clink with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. All right, so um, you know we had. Well, I kind of had. I was hoping that we was going to get a juicy story tonight from somebody who you know had had some personal experience, but you know, because you know since there's no judgment on the show, we absolutely welcome people to you know, allow themselves to be vulnerable and to tell us some, uh, to give us some deeper peeks into your lives. But 
I guess this wasn't the subject for that to happen. So, you know. Yeah, this would have been a great opportunity to have a couple, a guest couple on the show that has done it, that has had great experiences, right? Well, we can always revisit. <laughs> We if can. we can find somebody, right. visit, but I can tell you honestly that I don't know anybody, and I, I think somebody had said earlier that they didn't know anybody, and which was kind of the premise of their argument, right? That it usually doesn't turn out well, right? So I don't um, know. I, well, I don't know anybody who, um, for one, will be willing to talk about it, and two, that it's turned out well. But that's the beauty of the podcasting <laughs> world. There's somebody that does anything in podcasting, so. We can find Hello. somebody. Right. That. That's what I'm saying. There's somebody so, out there that got the scoop, and we right. want some of your right. scoop. We get in, we get in right. listeners yeah. every week. So if y'all know somebody, right? We oh. got the plug. <laughs> Holla at us. Get at we us. Got the plug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get at us. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then maybe we we've, we've got a couple of that I can think of a couple of um, potential topics. That came out of this uh, week's session that we will probably introduce at some point. What would so you do for a million dollars? Oh, I'm sorry. Woo! How much would you <laughs> sell your soul to the devil for? Mm. I'm saying, yeah, I'll just keep listening. We've got lots of great shows <laughs> coming up. We'll see you next week. Same time, same station. Good night, y'all. Peace. Good night, Peace. y'all. Peace. Welcome to the Anything, Everything, and Nothing podcast with Lynn and Kim. Join us as we discuss the latest in everything from entertainment and current events to the craziness that is our real life. Let's laugh, let's live, let's talk about it. New episode every Tuesday on the Defy Life Podcast Network. And remember, if you're not defying life, then what are you doing? Lynn and Kim. This might look like a normal job, but it's not. When hackers infiltrate networks and steal or destroy proprietary data, we're all at risk. Becca used to be a mid-level programmer until she earned a master's degree in cybersecurity online at Grand Canyon University. Now she's setting sophisticated honeypots to lure and catch hackers. What do you think protecting your company looks like? GCU offers over 175 high-quality online programs like this one. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Visit gcu.edu. The Home Depot has news that will come as great comfort to your bathroom or bedroom. Right now, you'll find beautiful savings on soft, comfortable bath towels, fresh bed linens, pillows, and cozy comforters. See it all online. Order in minutes. You can even get free delivery right to your door, which is also a pretty nice feeling. Save on select bedding and bath. Get easy online returns. Everything for your home. Everything from HomeDepot.com. How doers get more done. U.S. only. Valid through July 22nd. Limitations apply.